We see a massive shift away from the 2D cell culture to the 3D cell culture, such as steroids or organoids for a simple reason, because it gives you so much more physiological relevance. It's much closer to actual physiology in your body. For instance, in my former lab, we were culturing progenitor cells, stem cells, and they were growing organoids in 3D culture. And this was really exciting to see. If you think about technologies which are around, such as IPS cells or um, CRISPR-Cas, it's easy to see how the 3D cell culture and those technologies come together in an amazing way. And that allows us to create those powerful disease models that you can use to, to target diseases such as cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease. So if you think about wide field imaging, which gives you speed, sensitivity, and ease of use, but the problem is that for three-dimensional specimens, it will give you a lot of out-of-focus work. The blur disturbs the image quality so much that you can't use it for further downstream image analysis. This is why we're so excited about Thunder, because now Thunder enables the meaningful use of three-dimensional specimens on Thunder Imagers. Now with a Thunder Imager, it's possible to distinguish single cells from each other, to segment them and to follow single cells within this 3D cell culture. Another common denominator is that for the Thunder Imagers, we really started the design process from the application. So we really asked ourselves, what do we need to provide ideal application performance in the end? Well, the Thunder Imagers combine the computational clearing technique together with all the high-speed high-sensitive, high-resolution imaging capabilities. You can extremely improve your workflow efficiency with the Thunder Imager. It's a quick and easy setup. You just select your plate and let the system run. So we believe it's time for a change. It's time your Thunder images and that you see through the haze to get more out of your precious data.